me a cheer if you think you're an alpha male. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs>We caught your MCing gig, so yes. we we haven't seen the bulk of your material. Yes, but um, you certainly must miss occasionally. Does that ever happen where audience members are going? I'm not getting on stage with you. Um, yeah, I mean I don't drag him on stage every gig. Sometimes I want to be talked to. I mean, I mean, as an MC, essentially you do have the easiest job of the night, and that if you have made the crowd nice and happy and applaud correctly, you've done your job. But I, I take great pride in those first 10 minutes really getting the revs going. Because what basically happened there, apart from that one man burping, was every wife, every wife and girlfriend in the room going, no. <laughs> like, really getting the room nice and warm and bubbling. And yet, like, hey, every, every comedian gets it. Whether you're an MC, an opener, headliner, you'll get times where you go on stage and they just don't get you. They just go, well, who, who are you? What are you saying? Why are you here? Don't look at me that way. Get away. But you, I mean, you get you get weird you get weird ones where kind of like like every MC's got a box of tricks that he can rely on if he doesn't want to um, uh, doesn't want to improvise as much. And sometimes you throw a grenade and it just doesn't work. I had a French guy in my audience and I asked him, Mr. Frenchman, what is the most extreme thing you've ever done? And he just paused, gave a shrug, and said, Love. <laughs> No one who works in the performing arts should ever really complain because we get to dick around on stage for a living. Like, I have, in the past, in gigs, ridden a club bouncer like he was a pony with a belt wrapped around his face. I have challenged five foot five men to uh, wrestling matches. Uh, uh, yeah, all sorts of, and that's my job. That is my job. Just out of interest, are there any alpha females in the room? One, two, three. Woo! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just got hit in the face with estrogen there. One, one big thing I've noticed the really good comedians do, whatever type they are, is they get a laugh and they do not let that laugh go. And they just keep it bubbling along and bubbling and bubbling and then they get a round of applause and then it starts off again and resets. And, and for a new comedian, you sometimes get laugh, 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 shit, I've lost them. Laugh, 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 laugh. No, 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 come back. Um, so those gigs where for 10, 15, 20 minutes, you just get that laugh and, and you ride it like the laughter dragon that it is. That's an amazing feeling. Bernie, wow. I, th I think you might be in the running for real alpha male. <laughs> There's so much to get right. You might get your delivery right and your timing wrong. You might have your writing perfect, but your banter's rubbish. You might go to pieces in front of a big crowd or a little crowd. And it's, I kind of think it's like being in a lifeboat that's sinking and you manage to get your feet and hands over a couple of cracks and then another one bursts open and you're like, shit, I've got to get that one right. And then that one bursts open. And gradually, you learn to stick all your fingers and toes over every single thing and you're afloat. Uh, and then uh, someone buys you a bigger boat with less holes. <laughs>